hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today as you saw in the title i'm going to do five months review about mark jacobs mini leather tote bag can't believe it's already been five months this bag was popular when i bought it but it's even more popular now with all the different spring colors and i get so many questions about what fits and what doesn't fit you know so i'm gonna go over all of that today and of course i'm gonna talk about wear and tear and pros and cons and all the good stuff so if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started so first i want to talk about wear and tear and show you guys overall condition of this bag um, i've used this bag kind of heavily like every day for a couple of months um, when i got it now it's kind of in a rotation like maybe once in a few weeks when i bought this bag i only used this bag i didn't touch any other bags i think i was kind of tired of using all these mini bags and trying to fit all these things i realized that i like to carry more than just the essentials you know so this bag was kind of like a relief in a sense that i could just put whatever in it and it still carries enough the overall this leather is pretty luxurious and pretty thick so um, when I look at it, the corners um, look still good. You know, I was just throwing this bag around everywhere. I was putting it on the ground too. Um, I didn't really baby this bag. Maybe there's a little bit of peeling on the leather, um, but it's very minimal. You can't really see it unless you look really closely. On the handle, this is where I grab it the most like this, right? So the handle I'm looking at, glazing looks perfect um, there's no crack or anything like that i see some wrinkles under the handles but that's kind of normal um, you see this happening on speedy leathers as well i think this part would have been darkened if it was a lighter color but because this is brown color it's not showing as much and the inside too i do not see that much wear and tear i mean i put random stuff in and out but i don't really put any pans or anything like that without in a pouch so i don't see any stains or anything like that inside looks still great the hardware zipper i don't really close the zipper but the hardware um, is not tarnished oh i see a little peel on the zipper part oh yeah it's totally peeling yeah so the gold hardware this part is peeling so i wasn't really using the zipper it was always inside but maybe i scratched it one time as i was using it but you see this peeling on there and the zipper itself looks great still so keep in mind that this part will peel and as far as straps i don't use this strap very much i don't see any other peelings but as i said i don't use this strap i use the other strap um, and I mostly carry this one as a top handle, so the leather strap still looks great. So yeah, overall, except that the hardware part, I think um, the leather is holding up pretty well. So another way on there that I want to quickly add is if you look at from the front, compare this side and this side, you can kind of see the wrinkle right here. Um, I wouldn't say it's losing its shape, but and I don't know how this happened, but uh, probably over using overtime or how I store it. I usually store it just standing up like this, but I heard the leather bag. It's best if you store it like laying down like this, but I always store this bag like upright um, in the dust bag like this. But as you can see on this side, you don't, you don't see any wrinkles, but on this side, you can definitely see some wrinkle kind of veins going through. So I don't think this bag will ever lose its shape, but because the leather is kind of soft, if you kind of look at from the far, you can kind of tell it's slightly leaning towards the bag. Um, again, I don't think it's losing shape, but you can see this part is kind of folded a little more than this part the way it's structured and how they sewn it together i don't think it'll just like you know fall to the ground even if i use it for a long time but this is kind of the characteristic of the leather that over the time if you use it a lot it'll lose shape a little bit so this is another wear and tear that i would like to add one of the questions i get the most is is this bag heavy 
Um, I kind of mentioned in my comparison video with the Speedy 25, it definitely weighs more than Speedy 25. But with your Just Essential, it's not going to be heavy. But once you start filling it up with books, water bottles, tablets, and anything that is a little big, it's going to get heavy. So if you're planning to carry a lot, just keep in mind the fact that this is all leather and it will get heavy. And I carry this bag as a top handle bag and it's pretty comfortable. I'm carry like this or on my crook of arm. Leather is very smooth and it doesn't pinch my skin like Speedy does. Um, I also carry it as a crossbody sometimes. So the strap that comes with is kind of thin. Um, so I like to carry it with with the wide strap I got from Etsy a couple years ago and it's pretty comfortable with the thicker strap. I'll link similar items down below. And because the leather is so soft and flexible, it's so easy to carry and it sits on my body nicely. I will say it's pretty comfortable to wear. So I get a lot of questions on this one too, what fits and what doesn't. So I'm going to show you what fits and what doesn't fit in this video. This bag inside measures um, about nine inches wide, but because of the flexible leather, it does get stretched a little bit. So this tablet that I have is Samsung Galaxy tablet. I think it's 10. So the width is a little less than 10 inches, but definitely more than nine inches, maybe nine and a half. So this one goes in, uh, but you can see the leather gets stretched a little bit inside because the inside back to back is nine inches and this is a little bit bigger than nine inches. So if your tablet is bigger than 10 inches, I don't think it's gonna fit. Maybe it'll go in, but it's not gonna sit flat on the bottom. Maybe it'll float a little bit because the bottom measures nine inches. I have here a MacBook Pro 13. This is about 12 inches. So this one definitely not fit. But you can kind of see it's sticking out here. So if you want to carry a laptop, I suggest going up to a small or a medium size. And I have a couple of notebooks. This is in a regular composition book. And it does go in. But as you can see, it's kind of floating in the middle. It doesn't go all the way down because it's bigger than nine inches. Um, but you can kind of see in the corner, the notebook is sticking out and I have a bigger notebook. So, and this definitely will be a challenge. It kind of fits like that. So yeah, if you want to carry either a notebook or laptop, you probably have to go with a small or medium size because this is the inside is only nine inches and the leather, even the leather is soft, you could probably put 10 inch tablet but that's about it and i recently did a reel on my instagram like one bag with five outfits with this mark jacob tote and i just wanted to share how versatile this bag is i think because it's made with leather but the top handle style and the size is kind of perfect for any kind of occasion i could totally wear this for going out or a little formal setting as a top handle and um, if i want it to be more casual then I add this strap, it totally changes the vibe. So I think this bag is one of the most versatile bag in my collection. So overall, I think this bag is great for the price. Right now, I think it's 375 US dollars. And I'm thinking about adding either a small or medium sized canvas bag as well. I hope they come out with a small size with a long strap so I can wear it on my shoulder. Small size right now looks like just top handle with a strap. I think for now this size is great for me. If you're worried about the weight, um, as I mentioned in the earlier, you can always get the canvas version which is so much lighter and honestly there's so many pretty different colors coming out right now. So I think those colors will be great for summer and spring season too. I think that's it. Please let me know if you have any other questions that I didn't cover. Um, please leave it in the comment below. And if you have Marc Jacobs tote found any pros and cons, please let me know in the comments below. I think it'll help other viewers who's considering this bag. I think it'll be very helpful. Thank you so much for watching always. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.